just fun to be creeps. Come hang ten with us, freaks. We're like totally blinked. They've been scaring tourists again? Yes, sir. The toad lady owner was collecting golf balls. Called them ingredients. This is a family resort, Hodad. These monsters are around so much, it's costing me a fortune. People want to experience the sun, the tropical atmosphere, not a house of horrors. You know, I never have understood that about people. They'll pay to see a scary movie, but spook them unexpectedly and they run for the hills. <laughs> Maybe we should just advertise the monsters and the tourists will pay us to see them. <laughs> Hmm. Hold that! We are going to advertise the monsters and the tourists will pay us to see them! Get the car! We are paying a visit to Monster Beach! As I was saying, I've just got an artist's soul, you know? Uh-huh. Brain freeze! Mutt! Widget! Hi, guys! Good morning, Gromit! Better hurry up, don't want to miss the waves! The surf is wild! <laughs> We're trying. Hi, Amphibia. Hi, Lost Patrol. Namaste. Beautiful morning, cadets! Yes, if only there was a way for me to share my gift with you all. You could always share the gift of silence. For the thousandth time! Good morning, Mummy's boy! <laughs> Great day to get out of the office, stress weave. <laughs> You're right! I should put on a show! <laughs> Madge, what happened? I was just putting my freshly collected bouncing eggs in the freezer and she died! <laughs> Can we fix it? Her? <laughs> Can you buy a new one? Exactly! Do you know how much these things cost? But I can't stay open without one! No more freezer! No more diner! <gasps> No diner? But who will make all our delicious meals? Ah! Oh, I should see what I can pillage as props for my show. Well, we're going to have to think of something, guys. It's not like someone is going to walk through the door with a perfect solution to our problem. Butterfield, what are you doing here? Whatever you're selling, we ain't buying. But I have just the thing that could make you loads of cash. You heard the lady. We ain't interested. Beat it! Oh, alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Make loads of cash how? OK, picture it. A captive audience. Audience? Captive? Oh, they're my favorite kind. Driven through the island on safari. A monster safari being terrified by the scariest creatures on the planet. Who? You, monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're worried that I'm trying to eject you from your beach again. I promise I'm not. So you're saying all we have to do is scare a few tourists and you give us cash for a new freezer? Correct. We bring them, you scare them. So then what's in it for you? Why seeing this wonderful venue stay afloat, of course. Just sign this contract. You get paid, I get my safari. What's the harm? It's a win-win. Uh, uh. What is wrong with you all? Are you so selfish that you'd let this wonderful place end? Won't any of you think of Maud's Diner? <laughs> Madge's Diner? Well, not if we don't take this offer. But just to confirm, I sign this and you get me an audience, yeah? I guarantee it. <laughs> Here, file this under boring. <laughs> I have a show to produce. <laughs> That's the spirit. See you lose it. <laughs> Monsters tomorrow night for the premiere of Monster Safari. Uh, uh, uh. Rehearsal will be hard. The bar will be set high, but you must reach that bar because if you fail to reach that bar, you make me look bad. <sighs> and the five, six, seven, eight. Tickets! Thank you. Tickets, please. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, next. Hello, welcome to Monster Safari. Have a great day. Hi, welcome. Here, have a flyer. I hope it's scary. I'm one of those people who's hard to scare. Bo. Ah, uh -huh. no, we're kidding. We do that. We like to joke around. We're fun people. It's gonna be a long night. Oh. <laughs> Who cares as long as they're paying cash? Welcome to the Butterfield Resorts and Entertainment Monster Safari, where monsters roam free for a nominal fee. You'll shriek, you'll cry, you'll kiss your cash goodbye. Yeah, let's see. Ah, yes! Up first, the Tunnel of Ghouls! It's going to be a long night. Even longer for Stress Leaf. He's the one trying to decipher the small print in Butterfield's contract. <laughs> this is no good. Very, very bad. <laughs> Oh, did you see that mummy? I don't normally scare easily, but that mummy got me. <laughs> it's true. She normally doesn't scare that easily. Uh-oh! It's a full moon! You know what that means! Oh, what does it mean? It's werewolf season! Ah, werewolves! Ah. <laughs> I don't normally scare that easily, oh, but that got me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, she doesn't, but that got her. It got her! <laughs> oh. Okay, Brainy, scare time. Just jump out and tell everyone that the Thurf is totally flat. That always scares me. The Thurf! <laughs> the Thurf! I did not care for that. Oh no! I didn't get the chance to scare him! What the crap? Oh, just run out and yell, boo! One line! You can remember one line, huh? Hi! Oh, wait, that's not right. Oh, I isn't scary. I ruined it. Hey, where's my body? <laughs> a gremlin! Oh, I saw a gremlin. It's trying to destroy the bus. But we're on the bus. <laughs> gremlin, stress me. Stop the bus! <laughs> have to read the contract, cross 25B. What does it say? Basically, that if the safari's a success, the monsters have to do it forever. Butterfield only pays them for this first one. That's right. And this thing will be booked into next century. And with you losers working for free, the profits are all Butterfield. Oh, Dad! Yes, sir? <laughs> Who's driving the bus? Excuse me! We want to get off! <laughs> this is really gonna hurt my online reviews! <laughs> You're the real monster here! This was the worst night of our life! It's okay. I can fix this. I can. I, I mean, I, I still have the buzz. Oh, I, I can still fix this. No! My audience! We had a contract. I'll sue. Sue! <laughs> now, this is what I call the show. <laughs> Well, we got the money for Madge's new 
your freezer, and there's no unpaid shows for the rest of your lives. Win-win, I'd say. Yep, even Dr. Nut and Butterfield came to an agreement. After all, Butterfield did guarantee him an audience. Place a band like Billy Coop. Put out your neck but don't break your spine. Take off your hat and have a good time. That was actually pretty good. I give it a seven.